and welcome. Welcome to Possum Flight Number One on September 19th. I'm sorry, 22nd. And we have the pleasure of Cyan, Nadia, and Ideal. And they're actually pilots today. And they're going to experience hypoxia. So let's keep our aircraft in good position, which it looks like you're doing extremely well with. And now the cabin is rising. So there is a very slow leak in the cabin. And the altitude is going to keep climbing. And I'll keep you posted how high we are. Now the first thing, Cyan, if you want to give it a try, do a real, or how about everybody? Try, let's fly in formation. Oh, let's have fun. Everyone turn to the right. Very, very gentle though. Very gentle, not too much, not too much. There you go. Bring it back a little bit, ideal. Bring it back a little. You want to do a gentle turn. There you go, just real gentle. And Cyan, can you see what your oxygen level is? 99. And Nadia, let's do a very, very gentle turn to the right. Very gentle. The aircraft is very sensitive. And Nadia, can you see what your oxygen level is? 94. And ideal, can you see what your oxygen level is? 98. So everyone has great oxygen levels way up in the 90s, which is normal. Now as we continue to climb higher, those oxygen levels are going to start dropping. Now if everyone can stop their turn to the right and bring the aircraft straight and forward, I am going to make pilots out of you. Perfect, thank you. But today we're going to learn hypoxia. So bring the aircraft straight to the horizontal and put the nose right on the margin between the brown and the blue. Perfect. Now the cabin has gone through 10,000 feet and we're up to 11,000 feet. Right about now you may notice a couple of things. Your ears are popping. Yes. Yes. And maybe the cabin's getting colder. Is it getting colder? Oh, yes, yeah, slightly. A little bit. So that's a trapped gas phenomenon. Whenever you lose pressure, the air gets colder. There's a cooling effect. And the air's already expanding behind your eardrum, and that's what you're hearing. A little popping as it goes up. That's a really good clue, by the way. Now everyone's in formation, and I want everyone to turn very gently to the left. I'm going to call this uh, I'm going to call this the formation flight. It's like you're flying with the Blue Angels. <laughs> that would be uh, that would be amazing. <laughs> How is that for a turn? That's excellent. Are we all okay? Ide yes, you are. Okay, awesome. Ideal, you can turn just a little more if you want. Okay. It's a smidge. Now the cabin continues to climb. We're at 14,000 feet. Cyan, what's your oxygen level? 99. Nadia? 81. Ideal? 94. Now, Nadia, don't be surprised if your symptoms come on sooner. Now, anywhere along the way, if anybody notices anything unusual, we're in fair territory now. We just went through 15,000. Does anyone notice anything? Lights 
little bit darker, maybe? I agree with that. Um, nothing has changed for me. Copy. They kind of go a little bit bright and then a little bit dark. Yeah. So let's keep an eye on that. Okay, everyone, turn straight now. Fly straight and narrow. Roger. Roger. Copy. Um, actually, right now it's a little bit darker in the chamber. Okay. Cyan, what's your oxygen level? 98. Wow, yours is really holding. Nadia, what's yours? 72. How do you feel, Nadia? Um, I feel okay. A little bit cold, uh, but otherwise I feel good. Ideal, what's your oxygen level? 92. Shall I pull up? It looks like I'm going to hit something. Oh, yes. <laughs> pull up, pull up. Okay, no, no worries. No worries. <laughs> I was following I the him. Okay, well, um, now I'm dying, I guess? No. Okay. Um, okay, I let it go, just, and yeah. I have my co-pilot working with me. Okay. <laughs> okay, don't worry. Ideal, don't worry about the computer now. Okay. I want you to focus on your symptoms. I am, actually. It's just funny here. Nadia, do you notice anything? Uh, again, a little bit darker in the chamber. A um, little bit colder in the chamber here, but it's all good. Does anyone notice warm flushing over the face or the chest? Nope, not no. yet. How about a little dizziness? Um, not yet. Not really? No. I don't know. What can you des what can you describe, ideal? Maybe a tickle in my nose that I never had before. Okay, nose tingling. Yeah. That's interesting. Oh, I'm alive! Yay. And Nadia, what's your oxygen level now? Seventy-two. Seventy-three now. Okay. So the chamber is getting pretty high here. Cyan, do you notice anything? Um, just a little darkening right now. So it's just a vision. Yeah. Does anyone notice any lightheadedness? Just not yet. Not yet? No. Sometimes the face feels hot or warm, like across the chest and face. No. Not yet. Nadia, how do you feel now? Um, I feel a little bit, just a tiny bit warmth in my face. Copy. Uh, but it's not uh, severe. And Cyan, let's try a gentle turn to the right. I'll do that. By the way, what's your oxygen level? 90. Ideal, what's your oxygen level? 83. Do you notice anything? I think I'm getting a little lightheaded here. Copy. So your nose was tingling, you're a little lightheaded. Yeah. Do you feel different? Clumsy? <laughs> really? Not really. Yeah. Not oh, yet. Oh, you, oh, not yet. Well, like, I feel silly. Yeah. How do you feel? Silly, because I can't move anywhere now. Oh, right. No, no, no. Don't feel bad. Don't right. feel bad. Let's see if we can get you one more good symptom. Nadia, you have a warm flushing in the face? Uh, I do, yes. Yeah. Anything else? No, not really. So a little vision change, warm um, flushing in the face, maybe a little dizziness? No. No? No, I just feel a little bit of uh, warmth in the face. How about, how about your hands and feet? Um, I feel normal. Feel normal. Cyan, I want you to... Fly straight and narrow now. And Go on to that. Nadia, I want you to do a gentle turn to the left. Roger. And by the way, what's your oxygen level? Uh, 63. So I'm going to have to put you on the mask now because your oxygen is so low. Can okay. you think of how else you might feel? Uh, this is your I last just, chance. I just feel a little bit warm in the face. Copy. Okay. Let's go ahead. Get uh, your mask put on. my mask on now. Yes. Okay. Ideal, what's your oxygen level? I can't read it. Oh, 74. 
What else do you notice besides your nose tingling and dizziness? Uh, tingling on my uh, fingertips. And now the fingertips. Copy that. Ideal. Go ahead and put your mask on. Copy that. And last but not least, Cyan. How do you feel? I feel pretty good, thank you. Do you notice anything? A little bit of darkening and a little bit of heat in the face. Mm -hmm. Is it getting harder to fly the airplane? No, it's not too bad. What's your oxygen level? Uh, 78. My goodness, it just dropped. Yeah, it did. How about a little dizziness? Not nope. yet. You have a nice smile, though. Thank I have you. to say that. I can hear people laughing. <laughs> oh, they're just... They're laughing with you. Okay, so you're flying straight. Yes, uh, sir. Um, <clears throat> okay, so a little vision, a little bit of a warm flush. Your oxygen level 78%. Let's do a turn to the right. Turning to the right. Ideal, if you can hear me, give me a thumbs up in the camera. Pay attention to your symptoms and how the oxygen helps you recover. Nadia? I'm back up to 80. Yeah. Nadia, mm -hmm. if you can hear me, give me a thumbs up in the camera. Good job. Notice how that oxygen helps you recover. Yeah, I don't feel more Yep. And Cyan. I'm at 81 now. So you're kind of hovering right around that 80% mark. You've got warm flushing, some vision changes. Um, yes, sir. Uh, how about maybe harder to concentrate? A little bit. Oh, I'm feeling a little bit of uh, pinging in my left leg. There you go. Left leg's now tingling. Okay. We suspect a cabin depressurization. Cyan, I'd like you to put your mask on. Take your headset off and put yes, your sir. mask on. Excellent. I'm waiting for uh, Cyan. Welcome back, Cyan. If you can hear me, give me a thumbs up in the camera. Now pay attention to your symptoms. You're breathing 100% oxygen, and your oxygen levels are going to rise very quickly here. Nadia, in ideal, look at your oxygen levels. They should be... 99%. See how quickly you recover? That's why it's so important to put your mask on when there's a cabin depressurization. Or in your specific case, why it's so important to activate your suit. And that's what you're going to learn tomorrow. Good job, everyone. I'm going to sign off, and I'll see you on the ground while we get the next group ready. Okay, great. We'll see you on the ground.